Put your 3D glasses on them, pussy, because you know we coming straight at you. Yo, this is Nun Nun, man. Get your dumb ass slap fucking with PPV, man. You know what time it is. PPV, live this motherfucker with my brother, Nun Nun. What's good, my dog? Yeah, what's good with you, bro? What's good with you? You know what time it is. PPV, my bro, Mr. Circle City. You know what it is, man. My dog, you know what I'm saying? Before I talk some shit, bro, let's talk about the Hunger Games, my boy. You know what I'm saying? What uh, is that your league? You affiliated with that league? Let's talk some shit. Yeah, so uh, hold on one second, bro. So, so uh, my bad, bro. So uh, fucking Hunger Games is like that's my team. You know what I mean? That's uh. Tink the Dean, and that's my bro, you feel me? So it's a, you know, I've been rocking with Tink since about 2014, 2015. And you know what I'm saying? We just expanded the brand and we started throwing events a few years back. We was doing them on a body bag and then we decided we're going to create our own platform. So I have the Hunger Games YouTube channel up right now. That's Hunger Space Game, game spelled with a Z. We dropping battles, new content, some faces I'm familiar with too. Like I got. Uh, B Magic versus Zigzag up there right now. Mm. BG the Piranha versus Tink the Demon. Mm. Um, me, me and Demon is dropping soon. Mm -hmm. um, also dropping other battles like Coke versus Sean Don. Pretty good versus T Guns mm -hmm. that you just recap. Yes, sir. I got another joint coming out soon, man. King Stokes versus Uncle Nimi. I know a lot of people may not be familiar with them, man, but I'm co signing them. That's going on the channel. It's going to be crazy. So, y'all subscribe, man. We throwing events and everything. Really just trying to get it out the mud, man, you know? Out the gate, out the gate. Tell these niggas where the fuck you from, dog. I'm from Wilson, North Carolina. By the way, Wilson, North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Out the gate, out the gate. Yo, it's beautiful what you're doing for your scene, brother. You know what I'm saying? You're giving back, in a sense, my nigga. That's some good shit right there. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, definitely. Out the gate. You know gate. what I'm saying? I, just, I enjoy it, man. That's probably like the most, the most fun I get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Before I'm watching other people's careers. And then they fuck with me being there. is like it means something to them to have me there to host the battle and shit. So that's... Hell yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely when the hometown love you, your side love you, you know what I'm saying? You can't lose, brother. You know what I mean? That's beautiful right there. Truly beautiful. You know what I mean? So Hunger Games. So y'all subscribe to the Hunger Games on YouTube. You know what I mean? Real shit. Mm -hmm. Real shit. So let's yeah, talk yeah, about too, yeah, too, we got Hunger Games merch, you know what I'm saying? Face mm. masks and t-shirts right now. All different. You could DM me, you could DM Team the Demon. We got all the colors, you know what I'm saying? Different t shirts, masks, and shit. I'm gonna have to send you something, bro. Hey, that's love. You know, I'm rocking that shit like cut off stock. Is you hear me? You know what I'm saying? That's love right there. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. So, a nigga, PPV live with my dog, nothing, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's talk about these app shits, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I was cruising through the app, cruising down the street in my 6 foot. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm cruising through the app. I run across you versus JC, bro. That was a that was the app only John. That was caffeine. That was super fight. That was the night that Mad Papa battle Gucci Gotti in Ooh. the car. Oh, okay. So I missed I missed that. Definitely missed that caffeine shit. You know what I'm saying? So I seen that, bro. That was a decent fucking battle, bro. Like how did it, like, bro? How did you feel to actually get a JC, bro? Everybody don't get a JC, fam. <laughs> I was just really trying to kick his ass for real. Like, <laughs> shout out to JC, that's my guy. But you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, you know, it's finally I get to be in a in a battle with someone who they think is, you know what I'm saying? Not who they think, not to say no slight shit toward JC, but who's proven to be one of the, you know what I'm saying, top pins consistently over a lot of years, brought us some of the, you know what I'm saying, best material. So I was like, yeah, this is my go, this go time. You feel me? The ground, you know, I gotta, I gotta go in here and take this shit. So my mentality was. I'm trying to smoke JC all three rounds, but of course, you know what I'm saying? He did his motherfucking thing, so I ain't mad at who got who winning or what. You know what I'm saying? It was a crazy, crazy, crazy battle. Battle of the night that night, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I feel like me and JC's battle of the year so far, or at least in the runnings for battle of the year. There's a couple other battles that were great too, so I ain't trying to. Me and JC got to be in the conversation for one battle of the year. If they don't, it's because they don't want to look at me because, you know, uh, no, no, they ain't got that many fans or whatever stupid shit they come up with. But yeah, politics. It is what it is. And JC, definitely one of the battles of the year. Out the gate, out the gate, you know what I'm saying? So JC versus none, none. You know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't, ain't got the URL, 
Y'all cop that, you know what I mean? Drop that little eight dollars a month. It ain't about shit. Y'all niggas spent eight dollars on dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? So you got motherfucking JC, goddamn it. And that was uh because people always level JC what type of JC is a type of JC. You know what I'm saying? You might get this type of JC, you might get this type of that type of JC. What type of JC do you feel like you got, brother? And uh, he was great, man. JC was great. You know what I'm saying? He was great, man. He brought he brought very creative shit. Creative angles, um, you know what I'm saying? We had a conversation, you feel me? Like, you know what I mean? I was, you know, just watch the battle, man. I took an angle with him crazy. So in the third round, he had a full of 30s line. It was a perk line. I thought that shit was nasty. Like, he was nasty. Nah, that shit. I said, we're battling here, but it ain't no, it ain't no, I couldn't have gotten nothing less than a crazy JC if it was in a battle of the year contender. So he, he went fucking crazy, bro. Phenomenal battle on both sides. All, all fucking six rounds. Out the gate. Out the gate. So let's speak about you. You know what I'm saying? You had the right for this nigga. You know what I mean? Because you know what I'm saying? JC, yeah. this, that, JC, JC. You know what I mean? So did your pen switch up for JC or just another day at the office? But I got to. Hey, well, I mean, I don't write. Um, I don't freestyle, but I don't necessarily write. Like, I construct all the shit, like, in my head. And, like, I just put it together. Like, I don't write for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't write for nobody. Like, I don't I was raised to shoot. Who in the mask? Us. My guys are outside. They won't play with you. I give mm -hmm. you The mask is. Pull up. I could wait for you. You know, mm -hmm. the guns I do buy is real when they under your day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I'm up for JC to get into like some different. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying, the, the scheme, you know what I'm saying, I caught the Damascus, I caught that, like a lot of people don't be catching the scheme, but you feel like, the uh, because you punch too, y'all both scheming, y'all both punch, so you went with more of a scheming angle, or you just like, you kept it regular, nothing, nothing? I was all around, bro, I was, I was talking shit to him, hell I was, yeah. you know, I freestyled a little bit, I had some punches, some schemes, some wordplay, some personal, some angles, I tried to do a little bit of everything, and I think this shit I got for my next even better than that. Mm. Okay, uh, yeah. before we speak on your next battle, you know what I'm saying? Because this PPV, bro, who won between you and JC, brother? Oh, uh, me. If you ask me, <laughs> uh, I won, you know. Talk your shit. Walking off, the, walking off the stage, I feel as though JC got more reaction and shit. But um, when you watch it back, it was just like they didn't really know how to react or when to react because I was just bombing on them and that shit was back to back to back and nobody can deny it. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? I think JC had a stumble in a second and I think some of his setups took a little longer to get to the to, to land that, that hit. So um, overall, JC was crazy, but I feel like if you're going to rank the battle, it's like a... He, he had a nine, I had a ten, in my personal opinion. But there's people that's gonna say I'm fucking crazy, and JC got a ten, and I got a nine. And I really ain't too uh, mad at anybody saying JC won because he was fucking great. But yeah, I feel like I got him. Hell yeah! I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's real. You know what I'm saying? You sp yeah, so you felt like you won. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're supposed to feel like you won. Definitely, if you feel like you won, you're hot. Cause a lot of niggas be saying they won and they really don't feel like that. It's just a thing to say. So you actually felt like you won. Cause you know how niggas be front and pump faking like shit. Um, I don't feel like I just, you know, like, like I just went in there and walked them or nothing. No, right. I had to fight every round. It was a fight. Like it was a real fight. But I, I do feel like, nah, I feel like I just had more shit that connected. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Regardless of the reaction. I just feel like I edged it out, you know what I mean? In a crazy, crazy classic battle. And I don't I think people really be underestimating the fact that I have had a couple classics within the past couple of years. Like I'm I'm still building on my resume. Yeah, but me and Lose, name so some of them classics classic. for the motherfuckers. Yeah, name some of them classics. classics. Say it again, bro. Me and Loso, me and JC, that was like I had two classics, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Back to back years, 2020 and 2021, I've had two classics. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because, yo, you and fucking Loso was wild, bro, you know what I mean? Definitely <laughs> wild, you know what I mean? And then you followed up with JC, so um, it's that's not your only app battle you have that's on the URL app, is it? No, uh, I got, uh, I think seven. You got seven of them motherfuckers? Yeah, God damn. I think seven, man. You got me versus skates, me versus Loso, me versus Wavy, me versus Bill Collector, me versus Shotgun Shug, me versus JC, and me versus Ryder. So that's six, six or seven. Yeah, six or like seven. That. You know what I'm saying? So, um, 
out of all those, how many you feel like you actually won, bro? Before I can, I want to ask about your next battle. All of, and all, all of them. I feel like I won all of them except for Bill Collector. For like Bill Collector, my only loss on the app. That's fire. So, uh, what was it about Bill? approach was it because it's it bill wasn't, it wasn't even necessarily as much of it being about bill as it was it was the third round of ultimate madness and i had wrote you know what i'm saying like i had wrote nine rounds and you know what i'm saying back to back every two weeks we battling and shit and by the time i battled bill i think um like creatively i was kind of burnt out mm -hmm. to be honest yeah bro you do get lyrically drained bro you know what i mean you know what I mean? Niggas go through writer's block or sometimes it's like, God damn, man, I, I can't keep writing right now. I feel like, I feel like Nitty is, is proving he's like crazy level right now. Cause it's like he just hit his third battle versus Cortez and that shit was better than his first two battles. His first two battles were good, but what he did with Cortez was like, damn, bro, he's getting even, like, he's getting crazier every time. So, Hell yeah. yeah, that tournament was different. Hell yeah, yeah, cause you was in the, you was in the first tourney, you know what I mean? So, um, Second. Second, second, second turning. Excuse me. Excuse me. You was in the second turning. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the first one. You know what I'm saying? The second now it's the uh this one. You know what I mean? So uh would you battle Rum Nitty? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, cause you know what I'm saying? Cause he's like an alien ass nigga. I'm Niggas be scared. Bring, I'm that fire to him. <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. Hell yeah, nigga. Bring that fire to him, even though they know what time it is with none, none, man. Shout out to Rum Nitty, but you know, if I if it's Rum Nitty versus none, 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 none ain't finna play with no fucking Rum Nitty. I'd be, I'd be a, I'd be a dumbass. I'd be done shot myself in the foot trying to have a foot race. Like, nah, I'm coming there with all the smoke. I'm coming there, guns blazing with the gun bar king or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have. I'm going to be strapped the fuck up and bringing a whole damn armory with me. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, as you should, you know what I'm saying? So what do you think about this tourney right now? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I mean, it's Geechee Gotti oh, and Rum oh, Nitty. Oh, like, what did you think about the tourney overall? You know what I mean? The niggas that advanced. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. I think it, it, it kind of ended pretty good, man. You know what I'm saying? I would have liked to see him cool be clean against Nitty, but Core did his thing, so people gotta put respect on his name, you feel me, that battling back to back shit, that shit get crazy, so Core did his thing, Casey J was wildin', mm -hmm. um, I'd be real with you, man, I just think Nitty is the best rapper in the tournament, but I think God, he got so much personality, and he still got a pen too, but he just got so much personality that he's able to win, like, convincingly, and, and it's just the, the character alone, you feel me, like, not saying, like, trying not, not saying nothing bad, but I'm just, of course. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but you it's the aura yeah. that he uh, has. And with the bars, the little slick talk bars that he that he got, man, it's dope, man. I think it ended kind of like how it should have. Uh, Nitty and Gotti is. It makes sense, but that that championship makes sense. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying out the gate, out the gate, because we we both watch these niggas fight and claw to get there. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Uh, shout salute yeah. to them niggas. So none, none. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Swamp did his thing in the tournament too, man. Jack Boy Main did his thing in the tournament. Jack yeah. Boy Main was probably, in my opinion, I think Jack Boy Main. I had Jack Boy Main edging core. Um, no disrespect to core, yeah. but I had Jack Boy winning. That was who I picked, and uh, I would have liked to seen. Um, I would have definitely liked to seen Jack Boy versus Rum. That would have been. That would have been stupid, man. Cause Jack got a newfound energy. The way he's flowing, his mm -hmm. shit is crazy. Like. Man. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, none, none. What's what, what's working for uh, next for none, none? You know what I'm saying? What's your next battle? Like, where, 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 where you doing? Also, check out Me vs. Rider. Me vs. Rider dropped on the app, too. So, go watch Me vs. Rider. People debating it or whatever. So, I've got Rider winning. I think I won that shit, too. It's a crazy, crazy conversation. So, definitely watch that, too. Mm -hmm. I want to say something else, too, bro. What's um, up? Fucking me. I got a song out right now called Community. I need y'all to run them numbers up for me. Go type in none, none, Community. Just give it a listen, you feel me? Three minute song, me, Jay Wood, Zigzag up there. Crazy song. That's fire. Zigzag is dope, by the way. Bald head ass nigga, yeah. bro. That nigga's fire he on the Battle Rap Tech. He produced the track for me, for me. Oh, shit. I didn't know he got, he delved deep into the, the, the artistry. He's an instrument taker. Yeah, okay. Cool. Clearwave Studios, if y'all in Carolina, if you've been passing through Carolina, or if you just want to come record while you're in Carolina, anywhere in the Raleigh or the Triangle area, Rosen Durham, you feel me? So if you're in the area, 
hit up Zig. He nice. He, he, he's, yeah, he's very nice with it, for real. That's dope. Shout out to that boy Zig. You know what I mean? Shout, check out his battles too. Zigzag. You know what I mean? Versus on YouTube. He dope. You know what I mean? So what's working for well, you I'm, next? Though none, none. You know I what got, I'm saying? I, I got a battle June 5th. I don't know if I can say the opponent because they ain't, they ain't promoted it. So I think it's on like a private type of type of light. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they gonna uh, they gonna drop the uh, the info soon. So this be tuned. I say I'm on caffeine again um, June 5th. And I want to, I want to say it's like a super fight card or okay. something like that. You know? Okay. Um, but there's some other card, there's some other battles on the card, real crazy, like some rematch shit that, that's getting made up. I drop a couple hints, but yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy though, man. Just be tuned in for the announcement, June fifth, caffeine, you know, back to back to work. You know what I'm saying? Back on smack to, to, to do what I do. You know. Out the gate, out the gate. So last question, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because you know it's a diverse uh, uh, amount of talent that's on the URL roster. You know what I mean? You being a white dude. You know what I mean? And then you get love for being a white dude. I say this. This is speak on the on me being white. I don't. I don't give a fuck about being white, bro. Um, to me, in my opinion, it's like it comes down to just skill and ability, man. And yeah. uh, when it comes to skill and ability, bro, I'm just, I feel like I'm an upper echelon rider amongst some of the greatest riders in the world. And they and, and people cannot ignore that. They can't, there's no type of wedge or outside, like it, me being white, bro, I, I just, like, not saying, like, that's a valid question, but I just, I truly, like, don't give a fuck about it, bro. <laughs> like, I don't, like, I As you don't, because it's, Cause I'm, I'm white and I can't change the shit, but yeah. I can rap my fucking ass That's off. That's all that bro. matters, right? Yeah, like, and, and it gets crazy, you know what I'm saying? It gets crazy every time, you know what I'm saying? I'm into it a little bit. I might come up with some white boy bars or some shit, you know what I mean? But... But you from around the way, you could tell you from around the way, because one of my best friends that I started this PPV shit with, my nigga Mac Vaughn, bro, he from, nigga, he from the jungle. He from where I'm from, you know what I mean? Because Tarzan was a white boy, but he was from that jungle, you know what I mean? He, <laughs> he talked like us, nigga, you know what I mean? But he just so happened to be white. That's why I was asking you, you know what I'm saying? Because I was going to ask you, you know what I mean? Do you feel like you get a lot of backlash and a lot of shit that you say is dope, they just, just dismiss you? In a sense. No, no, hell no, hell no. Some okay. of the greatest writers in the world give me my credit. Like, you know what I'm saying? They like said the other day he get inspired by me, bro. That shit was a major blessing, bro. I feel like he's the greatest lyricist in the world mm -hmm. saying that he get inspired by me. So, of course, you're going to have people every now and then, oh, white boy, this and that, or whatever the fuck. But all I'm saying is, like, I don't give a fuck about being white. Why? I can still rap. Why? And I just let him rap. You know what I'm saying? I let him rap, throw it out there. You know what I'm saying? Black coach changed my life influenced my life made me a better person I love it I love being a part of it I don't give a fuck about being white bro I'm gonna rap till I die cause that's what I love to do you know what I mean? love bro so that's that on that you know what I'm saying? So, no, no, you know what I'm saying? The Hunger Games. Let these niggas know how to check out them battles for the Hunger Games on YouTube again. Yeah, YouTube, Hunger Games, Games with a Z. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe to my bro channel, too. Pinpoint Visuals. My you know, it's, it's up there, man. And I'm going to keep sending you uh, footage and shit, too, man, because I appreciate the recap you did, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Keep grinding. Keep doing what you do. You've always been in the trenches. I remember I met you in Chicago at the Gorilla War. Warfare event. He was really in the trenches. Really had a camera out working, networking with the artists, bro. And I appreciate, bro. You've been a major supporter since, you know, since I mean, early on, early on in my career. You feel me? Love, bro. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You've been always dope, bro. You know what I mean? I support dope individuals, and you definitely are a dope individual. And you holding your side down. You holding the Carolina down, bro. That's love, right there. Right. You know what I mean? So, uh, anything else you got to say to the streets before we call it a wrap, my dog? Um, hey, caffeine, June 5th. There it is. <laughs> PPV, live with this motherfucker with my dog. None, none. You know what I'm saying? Yes, none, none in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? We out this motherfucker. Pussy. Yes, Put your 3D glasses on them, pussy. Because you know we coming straight at you.